What's up, Gemini? Gang? What's happening? All right, let's see what's going on. Happy Monday, y'all. Happy day of the eclipse. I don't know if y'all are seeing it. People are traveling here to, to see it, which I find interesting. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make it out there though, but yeah, y'all. I hope y'all get to see it and all that good stuff. Let's see what's going on though. I'm using the Moonology deck right now. I'm gonna try to go live uh, to do the love check later. If I don't, then I'll just pre-record it, you guys. Okay, but for right now, the plan is to go live today. Okay, so communication is key. And there's a new moon in Gemini. Mm, interesting, because there is a new moon eclipse, uh, eclipse. Eclipse today. Take time to breathe out. So some of you guys may need to um, take some time to yourself. A fiery climax uh, approaches here on the bottom which is full moon in Aries which I, again I find interesting the eclipse is in Aries so like I said watch those temples Gemini's okay so with the communication is key new moon in Gemini I've seen this uh, several times for you guys so I'm just going to skim through the book I'm not going to do a whole lot um, with this all right uh, let's see him all right, a successful relationship usually comes down to one thing, communication. Mm-hmm, yeah. And the new moon in Gemini card is all about the start of a new cycle for communicating with the person at the center of your question. Talking things through is the answer for whatever it is you're, you're asking about. If you can't talk to that person, you can journal about it um, to yourself. Emails, text messages, all other forms of communication will also help you now. There, there may be a lot of communication, too, coming up for you, uh, Gemini, in the next week or so, okay? Because I'm getting, uh, I pulled for the, specifically for the Eclipse Energy today, um, which is going to linger. The energy is going to linger for quite some time, okay? Uh, where was I? If the issue you're asking about concerns a sibling or a neighbor, there's a new start coming. A time to wipe the slate clean and start over. This card could also suggest you've been too frivolous lately and need to get grounded again. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, drawing this card emphasizes the need to communicate. Okay, So the Attune to the Moon is write a list of all the people you love most and see if you're prioritizing them. Ooh, that's a good one. And then additional meanings for this card is time to tell someone how you feel. Don't be all in your head and not in your heart. Okay, someone is flirting with you and read more books. All right, so we need to read some books and all that. Let me know if y'all want to want um, some books that you want to check out, some, some books that I like. You know, let me know. Um, and then I'll, I'll uh, just send me an email and I'll, I'll touch on a few in the live. So the teaching of this card, Gemini is a sign of communication and socializing of ideas and travel and the energy around it. In this card, no matter when you pull it, is speedy, gossipy, and flirtatious. The new moon in Gemini is a wonderful time to get out and socialize. Gemini loves to chat. One thing to be aware of uh, that this card can also indicate being mentally scattered. Daily meditations will help you unscramble crossed wires in your brain. So that other card that came out with this one was talking about, kind of talking about meditation. So for some of you, meditation is going to be very beneficial for you today. Okay. So consider that. <laughs> Shia. All right, let's see what's going on. <laughs> let's see what's going on, Gemini. All right, so yeah, socializing. Look at this. We're already starting off with it. Three of Cups. Love it. Socializing. Some of you guys, your social life is about to be amped up a little bit, revved up. So maybe if you're dating and you're you're looking for you know love and all of that, your options are about to be plentiful. The Hierophant, love it, love it, love it. The Queen of Pentacles. I feel like Gemini's the key to your success right now is being yourself. Okay, even if you know people around you don't agree with it, even if the people uh, the people around you aren't um, accepting of it. Some of you going to a wedding too. The Three of Cups with the, uh, the Hierophant usually gives me like wedding vibes. Because um, this is like about, a, this Three of Cups can be about a celebration of some sort. Um, so some of you going to somebody's wedding. It is that season. June is, is a really good time for weddings and stuff. So some of you may be getting, a, a, I almost said getting married, uh, going to weddings. Springtime is a good time for weddings for a lot of people. 
we have the three of pentacles the ace of pentacles and the two of pentacles okay then we have the moon here on the bottom so yeah gemini's i feel like some of you have some type of new start new beginning some of you have a new job um but it's gonna be something that that showcases your skills that was interesting about this card the two of pentacles here the first thing that stood out to me was the fact that it looks like he's juggling okay so some of you may work multiple jobs or it's something here that you are going to get to showcase your skills or something about your something your skill is needed something that you're good at is needed um gemini's someone i feel like somebody wants to work with you too and like utilize your skill <sighs> gemini's okay so be open to that heavy oh heavy uh wedding vibes though seven of pentacles yeah this is about making friends i'm seeing the emperor here in the fourth wand some of you guys could be seeing four 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 um yeah some of you guys are making friends or you may have some a friend coming back into your life or something or someone coming back into your life uh gemini's four of pentacles <laughs> another four um yeah gemini's i feel like this is hold on to your your um belief gemini's hold on to your square don't let anybody change you period don't change for no relationship like i said unless it is harming the other person okay um but i've seen situations and i've been in situations where sometimes people want you to change like like strong aspects of your personality for them because it makes them uncomfortable uh gemini's and i feel like don't do that don't you don't have to compromise who you are to be in a connection ever you don't have to be a, you don't have to compromise who you are to be in a friendship all right so stand on your square if you got to end it end it. if you got to end something with somebody get, get rid of them you don't have to to compromise who you are um for a relationship okay like i said unless it's harming that person there's there's no need for it okay sometimes people are like just naturally i don't want to say miserable the chariot yeah some people are just like naturally um what's another word for miserable <laughs> a less harsh word the fool on the bottom <laughs> um some people are just like pest there we go pessimistic and you might be more optimistic, okay, or vice versa, okay? So I feel like someone may kind of put a damper on your personality, Gemini's. Like I said, I've, I've encountered people like that. So it, it can be draining long term for sure. It can be really, really draining. But I'm seeing uh, something working out for you. Somebody wants to work with you, um, Gemini's, or you're going towards something that you always wanted to do or something here is involving you to get out of your comfort zone. Also, what I wow some of you guys might be seeing one two three four one two three four so that's going to be confirmation for some of you one two three four one two three uh is going to be confirmation for you uh gemini's take that how it resonates you're moving towards something that is uh better fitting and better suited for you nine of pentacles getting more financially stable some of you have some type of money offer that's going to be very very lucrative for you ace of swords in the sun something here's going to be very very lucrative for you whether it's a you you attracting your soul tribe you meeting a friend you getting a job something here is going to be um great for you but it's it's, it's about being true to yourself though that's what i'm seeing here standing on your moral compass standing on your integrity uh gemini's i feel like that is what's going to be key to um getting what you want also don't be afraid to say what you want like this card says gemini's especially if you're dating and all of that don't be afraid to tell people what you want okay it's you're not locking them down into anything if you want marriage don't be afraid to say that don't be afraid to say what you want to say because you fear you know you're going to scare them off or whatever the case may be because if they get scared off that's that's not the person for you gemini's period mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Eight of Swords. Yes, yes. Um, I'm seeing the Five of Pentacles. There's that damn King of Pentacles again. Somebody's headed your way, Gemini's. Somebody that may see you as the one that the one that got away. Uh, Gemini's. Somebody is headed right towards you, child. Right towards you for whatever reason. Again, could be a Taurus or something significant during Taurus season. Um, Gemini's. Now this I feel like kind of get out of your head. Okay. This could also be like an insecurity of some sort. Yeah. Three of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. And then we have the Hermit here on the bottom. Virgo Energy. Yeah, some, I told you, Gemini, something's about to change drastically for you. I keep getting this. Uh, I keep getting this. Oh, this is going to be a, it's going to be a good week. It's going to be a great week for some of you. A great few weeks. Um, I feel like between now and May is, or between now and Taurus season, because there's heavy Taurus here, is going to be um, an interesting one. Okay? So, <laughs> just get ready, Gemini's. That's that's all I can say about it. It's going to be a lot of change, but I feel like it's, it's going to be based on your ability to be honest. 11, wow, I just looked over and it was 11-11 on the timer, on the video. <laughs> Love it. Something faded, something destined. This is supposed to happen. Divine timing. Um, Gemini's, I'm getting, I'm hearing right place, uh, right time type of thing. Some of you may win some money too. Go get a scratch off or something. Go get you a, um, go get you a, uh, scratch off or ticket or something like that. Some of you are going to uh, win some money as well. I'm seeing like some type of money, like coming out of nowhere for some of you, an opportunity coming out of nowhere. Uh, but you're ready for it. Gemini, you're in alignment. You're in alignment. And again, don't be afraid to, to say what you want. Ten of cups here on the bottom. Yeah, don't be afraid to tell people what you want. Okay? Because you just might get it. All right? And stand on your square. Stand on your integrity. Because that's what's that's going to get you far, um, Gemini's. Two of Wands. Yeah, the Two of Wands is, can sometimes be about... Um, the desire to go further or the, the desire to expand and i feel like that's kind of where you guys are at like you some of you are single and you want to expand and get into a relationship some of you are you have a business and you want your business to expand some of you have a job and, and you want to get a promotion or something like that so i feel like whatever it is is on your mind gemini's it has this opportunity to grow it has the opportunity for growth and it will because it's time Divine timing. Wow. Wow. Some of y'all's money is about to start getting real good. Ace of Swords. Another Ace. Came out with the Queen of Pentacles. Child. Look at him. With the Queen of Wands here on the bottom. Yeah. Being yourself. Something about being yourself, Gemini's, is going to bring you prosperity or bring you love. It's going to put you in alignment with what is really for you. Okay. So, um, I love this energy, Gemini's. I love it. It's something here is going to involve you having to get out of your comfort zone. For a lot of you, I feel like being yourself is getting out of your comfort zone. I know that sounds like uh, an oxymoron, but a lot of you guys may, uh, you tend to bend to other people's will in order to keep the peace. And I feel like spirit doesn't want you to do that. Spirit doesn't want you to keep, keep no peace. Okay. Stand on your square. It doesn't matter who's rough, of whose feathers you have to ruffle. Okay, because that is where your, um, like I said, that's where your prosperity lies, Gemini's. All right, so I'm gonna pull a couple of these. We're gonna get a couple of these money cards too, because I'm seeing some money here. Something about your, your stability. Some of you may be attracting a very stable, loving partner to you as well. Uh, Gemini's, but I'm seeing something very, very, um, <laughs> already, I'm seeing something very, very stable for you. So if you've been struggling and having a hard time, um, something is about to, uh, change. Okay. So for some of you, it, things might get worse before they get better too. So keep that in mind as well. <laughs> We've all been there. Let me get one more of these spirit, please, and thank you. Here we go. Oh, okay, so we have the telephone here. 
I feel like somebody's kind of set in their ways too, Gemini's. Is that you? Oh, that is you here with the with the Hierophant. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not really seeing that as a bad thing. Now, if you're set in your ways and it's, it is not helping you, uh, Gemini's, then yeah, you, you probably need to change. Um, you need to keep it moving, okay? And like I said, there's something here, especially with this communication card. Communication is key. Something here is not going to get moving until you either speak up, Gemini's, or you uh, tell your truth in some way, shape, or form. Okay, like it's there's something here that you need to get out, Gemini, and it's it's gonna remain stuck until you do. It's time, and if if people fall off, then it it was meant to happen that way. Okay, so on the bottom we have Gemini, <laughs> the Gemini card, which is yacht. Okay, y'all just use my hands; they kind of ashy. We have adventure, affluence, luxury, mobility, travel, great ease, smooth sailing, sophisticated, with the wind, self-indulgent, prosperity. I told y'all. I told y'all. Comfort, wealth, over-the-top, extravagant. I told you. I told you. The key is going to be your communication, uh, Gemini's. And are you being yourself and are you being true to yourself? That is what's going to matter here. Okay, you're not doing things to please other people and appease others. Standing on your square is what's going to happen. It's what's going to get you what you want. We have uh, the diamond. This is Aries. Mm -hmm. So this one is creative force, faithfulness, value, perfection, brilliance, commitment, light, purity, esteem, unconquerable force, multidimensional, multifaceted, invincible spiritual power. Okay, then we have childhood. Mm -hmm. This one is innocence. Playful, growing friendship, lightness of being, foundations, need of others, revisit the past. Mm -hmm. Um, where was I? Loving life, no worries, inexperience, growth, and new beginnings. Love that. Then we have telephone, which is cancer. Oh, that one was Pisces. This is connection, communication, conversation. See, we're talking about communication again. Uh, getting through, two-way street, message vocal, loud and clear, reaching out, notification, throat chakra, inner voice, and rings a bell. So this, again, is talking about you communicating something, Gemini's. And I mean communicating um, honestly and truthfully in what aligns with you, okay? Not what you think the other person wants to hear, all right? Then we have Beehive, which is Taurus. This is diligent, persistent, stamina. Application, tireless, mindful, hard work, devoted, fruitful, busy, conscientious, energetic, continual, harvest, endurance, effort, patience, and concentration. Love that. Let me get one or two of these, and then I'm going to wrap this on up. Why do I hear ducks or geese or whatever that is? <laughs> Y'all, I cannot make this up. Holy shit, Gemini's. Y'all's finances for a lot of you. If if this is finances, it could be, it could be that, but it could be anything. But if if y'all's finances are like at odds right now, or it's been moving slow, it's it's your finances are about to change, Gemini's. But I have been saying, I've been telling you guys that uh, Jupiter is about to move, about to move in, into Gemini uh, next month, the end of next month. So it's just like so we have wings here okay this one is rising above money issues i told you business taking off in profit i told you gemini's then we have career this is spiritual work life purpose and mission i told you there's something about gemini's you being in your truth or you doing something that is true to you no matter what anyone else feels or thinks about it okay and then we have the crown <laughs> yes love it this is overcoming obstacles, power play, and wealth. Career is owner, boss, taking charge, and making progress. Child, Gemini, I love it. I love to see it. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, Gemini. It's 19, 19 on the clock. Thank you for watching, y'all. Peace out.